Hi everyone, Sammy here. Welcome back to another video. And I'm here in Ueno in Tokyo. And I'm very excited to do some street photography on my new camera, the Nikon D850. I switched to Nikon recently as my one of my main cameras. And you know, I always tell people to challenge your eye, and my eye just wasn't challenged by an EVF anymore. So I'm glad hey, to be back on hey, an that's my jacket. Oh shit! Street life. All right, now, the, now comes the real intro. <laughs> I'm here with Lucas. I got Lukas. my jacket back. Yeah, the jacket obviously <laughs> belonged to, to Lucas. So my idea is today we just want to casually walk through Ueno again. Mm. This is uh, where we first uh, shot our video in 2019, mm. which was, by the way, you, you said second. Uh, I don't uh, really well, track, to be honest. I do, because I, I, I want it to be number one. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, it's a very popular video on your channel. Yeah, which yeah maybe which the I'm second yeah. most popular. And um, yeah, it was well received and mm. a lot of you enjoyed it. Um, probably because of the casual nature of just exploring the yeah. place. The so, area was really cool. Yeah, right. and we're going to do it again. We have a little bit of uh, a blue light now starting, which uh, is probably good for, for some taking some pictures. It's election time here in Japan, so it's yeah. a little loud. Um, yeah, let's just go and have fun. So obviously we, we shot in Ueno before, yep. but I think at that time I was, mm. I was shooting film and on my GR and I'm not super happy with my photos. They were mostly snapshots to me. Mm. And maybe we could talk a little bit about um, how did your or our photography change since that time? Because you know it has I mean, been. It's hard to know how it changed because it's, for me it's gradual, right? If I compare, yeah. I guess from now to then. But I will say, just in general, what I've noticed over the last few years, even even at that time, but like that was part of the the, the, the trend. You know what I mean? Mm. Is that I'm a little less interested in people than I used to be. Like when I first started doing street photography, and just photography in general. In the very beginning, I didn't photograph people because I was scared and I was like, what am I doing? Mm. But over the time, I got very used to it and I photographed people a lot. And I was like, that's the thing. I got to get photos of people doing people's stuff, right? But over time, I kind of gravitated away from that and thought, eh. like, of course I still do, but I'm more interested in the city itself, the environment, you know, mm. and then the people are just part of that. So I guess that's, that's maybe a change. Mm. Less, less of this like, oh, I got to get, you know, Bruce Gilden photos of people right in their face, you yeah. know, kind of thing. I don't really do that so much yeah that might also be something that I think everyone experience after a mm, while mm -hmm. like how many shots of yeah, people like running random passers by yeah, right? yeah. Passing the, uh, pa yeah. yeah so when I photograph people they need to be quite special mm -hmm. like she like you just got I think a nice photo of that lady with the yeah, kid. she yeah, was interesting just, you know I, I didn't get it because it was kind of like in the middle of the combo yeah. I didn't whatever I let it go and, and it's a beautiful guess, light and it that. was a beautiful light and, but that's actually another thing is that I, I find myself letting go of photos more easily where I'm mm -hmm. not like, oh, whatever, you know, I, I need this photo. So, yeah, whatever, I get it, I don't get it. Yeah. I've become much more open to just whatever comes, comes. You know, mm -hmm. I shoot whatever. As Bruce Lee says, be like water, my friend, you know? Yeah. Right? I might have said that in the last video because <laughs> I say that sometimes. <laughs> Steal that, uh, that expression yeah, from Yeah, some people need um, a project or one specific uh, a theme maybe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But... Uh, I think I, I also have to mm. let it yeah. Yeah, flow just, and... Yeah, exactly. Just go with the flow and let it happen and, you know, zen, right? Zen. <laughs> and see, this is what I mean. Like, this is a bit of a basic photo, you know, but... Uh -huh. Postcard photo, as you said earlier. You called it that when we were... Was this the place? This is not the place we had that drink, right? No. It was like this, but it was on yeah. this side of the street. So for people watching, and uh, if you haven't seen our first video, we almost got a little drunk at a sake place. Because what did they sell? Like two for one or something like that? It was a good deal. And then there was a little bit of food with it too. Yeah, and I they remember. filled the cup up. You know? All the way, right? The Japanese so way. So we will see if we find some uh, sake at a discount maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm not that much of a drinker, so I'm really sure, sure, sure. a little well, we scared can, to we do can it. We can cap the video off of it, yeah. right? There we go. Ah, yeah, I got the pretty lighting. Yeah, just nice colors and light. And yeah, I need to get into the mood. The mood again, because ah. we took we took a little break and yeah. Sometimes I'm not in the mood either. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like you got to kind of get some momentum going you take like an easy shot yeah. and a little bit different shot and sooner or later you're, you're shooting like really freely maybe let's talk a little bit about the gear yeah so we're both shooting on a 40, uh, 40 millimeter, millimeter prime yep 
um, you used to shoot on actually mm. this lens here, the Ultron, Voidlander yeah. Ultron. I did, although mine's the a little one. different version, yeah. but yeah, basically the same. So I think it could be interesting to talk about, mm. you know, the manual focusing, auto focusing, yep, experience. Cool. Wow. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. I mean, how do you like it? You're pretty used I to mean, manual focus, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, there are times where, yeah, yeah, where it can be in the way, but I like the control. Right. I, I like the control too. That's yeah. what I liked about it. Early on, it was daunting when I started learning it, but once I got a bit used to it, I realized it gives me a lot of control. Yeah. And I quite enjoyed that. So how is it shooting on a Z9? It's the awesome. pinnacle of mirrorless <laughs> cameras. We should go through there. It is uh, honestly, as far as mirrorless shooting goes, it feels very liberating. Yeah. Because there's a lot of things about mirrorless that um, make the shooting experience feel a little bit like constrained, and mainly the way the EVF works. Like there's often a delay when you bring up your eye you know, to the thing that EDF has to turn on. Yeah. And there's, there's always this thing in between you and the world that you don't have on this camera, right? On your camera. Like, yeah. you look in there, you don't see pixels, you see the real light, and I think that's great. But this gets you close to that. Mm. And having been, you know, using both mirrorless and, you know, SLRs for a while, this camera gets me the closest to that regular SLR experience. Mm. It feels a lot like using like good old D4 yeah. or something. Yeah, I had it in my hands mm. uh, recently, yeah. earlier. But I also have watch out, all the um, advantages of a, of a mirrorless camera, right? You know, mm. more, better like tracking and all that kind of stuff. And, um, yeah. you know, I get to see the, the exposure preview right away. You know, all these kinds of things that the, that the EVF gives me mm. without the shortcomings. I like that kind of scene because I like to sh capture that, you know, drama of this guy drunk. But I also like that you can't see his face, so I have no real ethical, you know, issues with it because it could be anybody, it's an anonymous photo, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> Gotta perform, pressure. Ah, you can you can have that one. <laughs> I like that Uniqlo. And I think I didn't say this in the video, but I'm shooting five by four aspect ratio, so right. I have to be very careful to get uh, everything in frame. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, if, if you photograph one subject and you hang out, normally you would feel a little uncomfortable, right? Because you, you, you would think that you would be, you know, you would be perceived as a little creepy or, you know. No, I mean, but it depends How do you subject. deal with, like, what's your body language in those situations? I just try to be very honest about what I'm yeah. doing, very transparent. And then if somebody sees me, mm -hmm. I, uh, I, just, I try not to hide what I'm doing. The worst thing I think you can do is if you're taking photos and they see you and then you do one of these like... Right, right, like, right. I didn't do that. Because then it's like, well, you, I saw you and you're hiding yeah. it. So maybe you're up to no good. Right. You know, you, why are you being sneaky? So what I try to do is if somebody does see me, I just... Yeah. Hi, you know, I wave, I say something, I acknowledge their the presence yeah. and that can be hard because the natural instinct is to like run away right mm. so yeah, yeah I, think that's I the often most tend to thing. try to get the sneaky shot and then I realize it feels a little weird like yeah it, like if I plan to stay and take more photos mm. then I might as well just take the photos exactly and so deal like with, with whatever with, with this girl that was there we took a lot of pictures of her yeah. as I did like if Standing I would there. stay like this here then I could probably also get away with it yeah 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 I mean 
the point is she never really notices. But had right. she, I would have just said, yeah, you look nice in this scene. And then I might even show yeah. the photo. It's rare that I show the photo because most people don't uh, care. Now we have a subject uh, a Different swap. subject. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A different subject. Different subject. I like the other subject more, but yeah. this one works. Uh, we have two on the phone now. <laughs> I don't know if that's interesting. Probably not. Yeah, but it's cool. I like it's corners. Great. Corners always. Yeah. Fun. So I think yeah, if you Wow. It's so wow. loud everywhere, yeah. But if you communicate that kind of honest approach, mm -hmm. and also I think it's important to have a good reason for taking someone's photo. So yeah. if they ask you, you can explain why. Right. Um, and it can be as simple, and by the way, I, tell, I repeat this in a lot of videos, I say this a lot, I say this to all my like, students or clients on workshops because I think it's always true. If you're taking a photo of somebody, be ready to answer them if they say, why did you take my photo? Mm -hmm. And it can be any reason, but it needs to be a concrete, like confident reason. And yeah. it, for me, it's as simple as I like your fashion, I like how you look, but it's important to have a reason. Right. It could be even be, I'm a street photographer and I'm an artist and I create art and like I made this picture of you and I think it looks nice here, take a look. Yeah. I know a, uh, like an online friend, street photographer that I know online, he has a little card that he hands out to people. Mm -hmm. It explains what he, what he does and, and that's it. I love this giant lobster here, that didn't used to be here. Oh, yeah. And then the beer hey, bro. bottles. Oh, uh, no, it's okay. Uh -huh. Maybe later. Arigato. Bro. Bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. <laughs> oh, that's a cool sign. Oh, they changed the sign over there. So some vintage yeah. looking sign. I mean, yeah, Yokocho sign was different before. They changed that. Oh, yeah. Interesting. The How did it look was, before? It was I more don't remember. Vintage. It was a retro one. Oh, more yeah. like the one that's down there. It was similar. I don't but think it was exactly one, the same. One, yeah. Nice gesture. I feel like I'm taking the the usual tourist shot. Well, come on, that's okay. Why do we, as photographers, have this disparaging term, the tourist shot? Yeah. It's... Why do we say that? Doesn't that mean what's wrong with the tourist shot? What's wrong with being a tourist? Right. Yeah. See, maybe we can shoot into the pachinko here, though. I think that's. I always try to think about. Mm. Like, I like getting. I want to get a really iconic pachinko photo. Yeah. And I don't but think I have. Aren't they very sensitive when it comes Extremely, to? Extremely, which is why I do it through the window really quick. Do you get any I, flicker? Uh, flickering here? No. Looks like that. Wow. That was my chief concern with buying. <laughs> yeah. Just at that moment, yeah. the staff uh, members. They were saw. both like. <laughs> <laughs> but that might be a cool view down yeah, there. Yeah, right. Yeah, at an angle like this. Oh. oh, that's cool. Who's the stairs? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. not wide enough. Mm. Mm. So yeah, how have you been coping with, you know, a lot of the changes here, tourism? Issues. Yeah, yeah um, I mean, you know, in terms of doing workshops, yeah. obviously the numbers have plummeted and we don't have, do, we don't do that many. Um, although the last few months have been picking up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like some people are traveling more to Japan. Like business travelers and whatnot are getting in and sometimes they so, take a, a workshop. Yeah, well, well, it, currently only for, you can only come to Japan for business and with guided tours. Yeah, or as a family member as well. Yeah. Um, well, if you come like with your, your partner who's Japanese and we've gotten some clients who are in that situation, they come with mm. their partner and then they book a workshop because they're here basically on vacation, right? Mm. Um, but besides that, you know, we've been coping with it by doing YouTube and mm. video production for various clients and um, sponsored videos for YouTube and of course I'm always freelancing as a photographer so I get some freelance gigs so yeah we've been keeping busy and mm. it's not great but it's it's better than nothing better than getting an office job you know <laughs> yeah so overall it's fine but I am excited for tourism to eventually open back up now, let's go down this nice street here mm. it's Nakacho. I realized when we shot here last we didn't have you know, this, this guy following us around, so we were less conspicuous. Right. But now we have the, uh, the director of photography and people are gonna be like, wait a minute, because this is the red light district, right? All right, yeah. But maybe so it's if okay. So I, if I get punched today, then yeah, or this not, night? It's my fault. It's Axel's fault. <laughs> let's go down this street. Well, it's my fault because I brought you here, right? Oh, yeah. But you know, it's okay. I think we'll be fine. 
I love these little dingy side streets. I'm sure this is the kind of stuff I showed you last time we hung yeah. out in Ueno. Alright. Lovely deserted street with some people at the end. I love this blue hour light with these kind of signs. It's gorgeous. Yeah. So why do we shoot these uh, things, Lukas? Uh, <laughs> because they are cool and they won't be around for long. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. Tokyo changes drastically in just a few years, you know, and in the last few years especially. I love this pink sign here, the yakiniku, shabu shabu. Oh no, it's not shabu shabu, it says jan, jan jan te. Let's go this way maybe. <laughs> that is a beautiful scene overall. Great lighting here. Mm. With that oh, sign the Coca-Cola bench. Yeah, the Coca-Cola cool. bench, and it says Diablo back there on that sign. Now this would be really fantastic if somebody came out of the door. Yeah. I love these retro stairs. Hmm. So you have image stabilization, right? I do. That's that nice. Is, uh, nice, yeah. It's a nice thing to have. Uh, I don't and I kind of need it. Yeah, on 40 millimeter on full frame without IS, I could get it like comfortably hold it in my hands about 30th of a second. Mm. Which I think actually in this scene is not bad because that's what I'm using on this one right now. I was at about a 30th or a 50th. Mm. So I think it's, you know, it's still doable. I gotta take multiple shots because, yep. you know, one, they could be blurry. Yeah, I do the same, but I do the same even with this, with the, with the IBIS. Like, yeah. I'll just take a bunch of shots all in a row because some of them might be blurry and I just delete some of them later. It's a little bit tedious, it's extra, you know, data to deal with. But, you know, it's not a big deal in the end and it gets me the shot. Mm -hmm. That alley is nice as well. Mm -hmm. ah. I love the silhouette mm, yeah. of that sign with the lights, right? The little light bulbs against the still blue sky. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this cat. Oh, cats. I need a behind the scenes shot of that. Oh, oh I knew oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. I knew it would run away. I was gonna try to get like a you know super close shot. It was too he, uh, he was it was too fast for the Z9. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Even the Z9 couldn't handle that. Doesn't it have a uh, cat out of focus or something? It does like actually, that? yeah. No, I'm not joking, it has for cats. Specifically for cats, yeah. Let me double check <laughs> if I'm not making that up. But um yeah, it has, it has, look, it has animals. It has animals specifically, but within animals, it will detect cats, dogs, and birds, mm. those three. So, yeah, you were kidding, but actually they do have this gimmick. <laughs> this street is beautiful too. Yeah. yeah you like probably one. took one of here, right? Maybe, probably. So you have been very resistant when it comes to 
gear acquisition syndrome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like. I don't, I don't really, I mean, I upgraded just, someone might say, well, wait a minute, but you just bought this like upgraded camera. But yeah. it was just a natural progression of what I had before. I just wanted a, the yeah. same thing, but better. Whereas if, um, you know, if, if like I'm, I'm not the kind of guy who's gone buying like 50 different cameras and trying different cameras and all this stuff at the same time, right? So yeah, you're right. I try to ignore it. Mm. Did you add any bad experience with it before or you just... With, with gas? Yeah, with just you know, trying something and regretting it and that's why you no. stick with what you oh, know well, best. I'm just, I'm just, I've always been kind of a minimalist person. Mm. And, um, oh, I'm, oh yeah, this is pretty nice, wow. It's gone. Yeah, we can take the other one. Yeah, so I never had like a specific uh, bad experience. I just, I'm always sort of a minimalist. I don't like having too much gear, too much going on, you know. Mm -hmm. I like just having the one thing that just works. And once I'm happy with something, I stick with it. Hey, this guy. Hi. Yeah. Oh, getting cozy it's again. Sliding in here, yeah. It's okay? Yeah. It's okay? It's... So? We fulfilled your wishes. <laughs> Whose wishes? My wishes? No, no. Some people. Oh, some people's wishes. Oh, okay. This time. I was gonna say. Hamai. 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 Yeah. I was gonna say. What do you mean? What do you mean? My wishes? Am I an alcoholic? No, not, not you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm also not really drinking. Me so neither. I, I don't. I'm drink doing much. this only for the for the viewers. Yeah. For the for the gram. For the, the, the tube. Yeah. Arigato. This is your uh, take home. What's going Yeah. Then. Wow. So, all right. Come by. Challenge your eye. Challenge your eye, yeah? <laughs> uh, okay, we just had some two two shots of sake. Yeah, but in like ten minutes. In ten minutes. <laughs> and I'm I'm feeling it. I'm definitely feeling it. Let's walk a little slower. You're, you're too fast now. Now this is too fast to me. Um, and we're just going to we're going to the station. I have to actually go back because uh, I have you know, I have a family, I have people waiting for me. Uh, I can't just drink all night. I can. Um, you can. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, let's just, let's just explore and uh, enjoy seeing us a little, a little wasted. You know? A little bit. There's more room, but this is the, 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 most, the most we can give you. <laughs> <laughs> because the later part where we're more wasted is going to be not in the video, right? Censored. Censored. We will see, yeah, yeah. And last time people wanted us to, to drink more. Did they? You mean after that last video they said you were not drunk enough? Yeah, they Even said though we had a couple next of time you should drink more. Ah, okay. and we, do, we got two shots instead of one. Okay, so. we, got, we delivered. We yeah. delivered something. All right. This probably yeah. sounds and looks worse when we see it sober. <laughs> we're like, yeah, oh, we, we, we think we're so cool. And yeah, later I'm yeah. going to be editing this. It's going to be like, what? We look like a couple of dorks. <laughs> okay. Let's do some photography. Let's pass through here again, maybe. Let's go right. Wow. It's, it's a little different. It's a little different, yeah, I agree. Less. It's a little different. I'm not sure if I even... I'm uh, focusing right. So much oh, chaos. So much chaos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what did you think of Ueno this time? Um, Two years now, later. Now it feels different. I don't Why? know if it's because of the alcohol the or because of it's, you know, it's later. I think we also, it's later, but we took yeah. a little, I think alcohol said we took a little break. Yeah. Because we've been shooting a lot all day, you know. Right. It's nice to just get your mind off of it and then jump back into it. We got the shot faster. Oh, focus. I like this place over here on the left. This is nice. Yeah. Even though it's from behind, just the way these people are situated here. From the behind and uh -huh. stuff, and then some guy noticed us and pointed at us in there. Yeah, from yeah, the inside. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. They're just inside. A couple of like business dudes. All right. Well, we're literally back where we started today yeah. in Ueno. 
when we started our video that was earlier today and because we started here we have someone playing in the background who probably is having a hard time selling their cds we yeah. won't have any copyright issues probably, probably we can end the it's video probably gonna here. be okay um, yeah. so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this little um i don't want to call it part two of the deep into the night video we did because it's not really deep into the night the night just started yeah it just started yeah but uh, i have to go back and um it was fun i i wish i could just keep shooting and uh but i have to go back so yeah it was uh, fun and the whole day was fun i mean yeah. i don't know what the order of the publishing of these videos is going to be but yeah. We did one for Sam's channel, one for our channel, one for the Rico channel. So, so if you are disappointed with this video, yeah, watch there one are the other two ones. more you can watch. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of, it was a Sam Lucas date though. Date yeah, date, exactly. Right? Bro exactly. date. So this video obviously was shot in the iExplore style. And uh, Lucas, I think, or Lukas, Lukas. <laughs> Don't you demo, both are fine. Uh, edited this video as well, so thank you for that. My pleasure. And uh, check out uh, iExplore, of course. Um, great channel if you want to see Tokyo photography. Um, yeah. yeah, and for anyone who cannot come to Japan, this is the second best thing. Second best thing. So, and we owe yeah. a lot to you, by the way, because you kind of helped us jumpstart our channel. Yeah, but it was also days. a successful yeah. video for my channel, so. Right, so win-win. Win-win. Win, win, win. So let's uh, give it our night a little Kampai. check, come by. <laughs> <laughs> we see you in another video someday. All right. Bye-bye. Sayonara. Matane. Sayonara. Bye-bye. So between this and this, there's a bit of a trade-off. Of course. But it's kind of a preference thing. But both are very ergonomic. Yeah. If you put boundaries around something like street photography and say only this can be, then there'll be people like me who says, well then screw it. I don't want to be street photographer. Yeah. I'm going to just right. leave that genre and call myself something else.